My name is Carl Deutsch. I'm a graphic designer. In this segment, we'll talk about how to design a book cover. Book covers can have several different elements. They can be very simple, where it's just simply the, the title and the author and maybe the publisher. Or it can be a little more complicated with images. Uh, you can include here there's some sort of reviews and um, you know, different sort of bands of color and separations of how to s separate the information out on the cover a little bit. Um, I personally like to include some sort of an image in anything that I do because it just makes things a little bit more interesting to the viewer. Um, this, this cover is separated up. You've got sort of the, the author. The title of the book is the most important, biggest, you know, unless you're talking about maybe Stephen King, sometimes his name is bigger than the actual title of the book because he's such a well-known author. So uh, it, it would sort of depend on several different things, how you're going to set that up as far as hierarchy goes. Um, on this specific design, you have a background image here and you have text over it. When you're laying text over a sort of a complicated image like this, sometimes you need to throw a, a slight drop shadow in there. And the drop shadow helps lift that off the page a little bit and gives it a little bit of depth as well. So I'm going to go through a quick example of how you apply a drop shadow like that to text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these and just draw a quick text box. And let's just say the world is gone. Okay, I have a color already set up there. So down here in your effects palette, and if this palette isn't showing up on your screen, all of these palettes are available here in the window drop down menu. Um, this one is right there, and some of them are hidden behind type and tables, output, object, and layout. So be sure to look in here if, if you're not seeing a palette that you need. Um, in this case, it's, I have it open. You can apply a lot of different effects to this. Today I'm just going to show you the quick drop shadow effect. So in here, you've got object or text. I'm going to choose the text drop shadow. Instead of multiply, I always, I always go with normal. Multiply, sometimes when you overlap things that have drop shadows on them, it does strange things where it doubles the drop shadow sometimes, or it kind of does odd, peculiar things. The default is 0 0.0972. I like to cut that about in half, 0 0.04. Point, that 0 0.0972 seems like a little bit too much. I'm going to go ahead and change this one too. And just click Preview really quick, and there it is. So that's a nice soft drop shadow on that. You can even bring the opacity down to say 45 percent. That lightens it up a little bit. If you want to have no offset and just sort of have kind of a background glow to it, you can even set that to zero. And it's just a really slight faint glow in the background. If you want to bring that out a little more, you just increase the spread and that sort of thickens it up a little bit. That's kind of overkill there, but um, you see kind of where you can take this. So then, I'm going to bring this back to 0 0.04. It's a little easier to see. I'm going to hit OK. So now, as I move that around, that drop shadow follows it. If I want to go on by the wayside, adding text to it, it applies the drop shadow to everything associated with that text. I'm going to delete that and go back to the original way out here. So again, separating this design out, uh, this is a pretty common way for book covers to sort of split it up with these bars and bands. Uh, that really helps separate the text. Otherwise, it kind of looks like one big block. So, um, but again, try to try to get an image in there, something a little exciting.
think the book cover for Cujo, for instance, was a big snarly looking dog on the cover and that kind of says a lot about what's inside the book. So uh, color scheme, nice strong color scheme and uh, these sort of quotes from specific re book reviewers are, are nice touches. My name is Carl Deutsch. I'm a graphic designer and that segment was on how to design a book cover.